we're back at a Bigfoot sighting hotspot. Video of Bigfoot filmed less than two years ago. Look, something with a huge foot stepped here. Shoving this off to the side. This is a little bit older. It's lost its definity, but you can tell that is huge in comparison to mine. This section of the river, we're always finding Bigfoot tracks. So I wanna point out one more, and Jenny found another one, it looks like. There's a one that stepped here, toes up here, back around to the hill. Something stepped there not too long ago with, with a Bigfoot shaped track. That's smaller, but it's flat footed. I don't know what it is. Yeah, that one right there is about 12 inches long. And then um, here's one that I threw a tape measure on. This one I threw the tape on is uh, 14 or 15 inches in length. Here's the hill back here. And then uh, that I would call the big toe. Ooh, I heard, heard something cracking up in the woods. Big toe down to the smaller ones. This one's over 14 inches long. And the width at the toes is about eight. A little over eight. It must have really splayed its toes there. And then down where the heel tapers at the mid tarsal break, I'm seeing about six inches. That is consistent with Bigfoot activity. I think it may have rained one time after the Bigfoot made that track, but we have found tracks here several times over the last couple of years. We've even seen evidence where it leaped the bank over there to here, and we also saw where it leaped the bank from over there to here. We have tracked them up onto the rocks on the other side. All right, we're gonna service game camera that we have in the area. This is just an amazing place. It seems like we find Bigfoot activity almost every time we come here, which is very unusual. I don't know if these will show up, but Jenny sees footprints where it may have walked into the water. Oh, I can see them through this little viewfinder. Okay. Yeah. There are two of them right there. There's some right here. These ones are really big. I mean... We've seen evidence where it leaps the river. The smaller ones may just walk through the river. There's a whole trackway. One, two, three, four. And then it comes up right here. And this, this creek or river is just full of fish. I just heard a wood crack in the direction of where we need to go to service a camera. So I'll keep an eye open for tracks. After a winter in the Rocky Mountains, trees fall, branches fall. It just, the, the snow smashes things down. It just looks so different. Something's been bedding down right here. And the cool thing about that our game cameras on the other side of the tree from that bedding spot. So maybe we will get to see what it was. All right, well, we found down by the creek what looks like several Bigfoot style tracks. Not saying it's Bigfoot. And we know Bigfoot likes to avoid trail cameras. We've saw evidence of that, so has other Bigfoot groups. This right here is the trigger mechanism. An infrared light goes out about 65 feet from that. And anything that makes movement in front of it and is uh, warmer than 70 degrees Fahrenheit will set off the trigger. And depending on what you have your camera set up, it'll either take a photo, a set of photos, like two or three, that's a photo burst, or it will film for five, 10, 15 seconds or whatever. So we're going to check to see what's on that, see what lives in a Bigfoot sighting hotspot, and hopefully we get that home run. And then we're going to look around for more Bigfoot evidence. If we find anything cool, we'll put it at the end of this video. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching. We're hiking around looking for Bigfoot evidence. 
we find someone's primitive shelter. I'm going to go out on the limb and say right now, Bigfoot did not do this. He didn't go into someone's camp and steal some twine and some 550 cord. I'm just trying to figure out how the person used this that built it. I'm thinking that they kept the wood dry. Yeah, Jenny and her I are trying to decide why they made this primitive shelter. Maybe it was a platform to sleep on top of at one point in time. I don't know. They may have uh, put sleeping bags underneath it just to keep dry or throw a tarp on top of that. Don't know. It's kind of fun when you're out in the middle of the woods and you find stuff like this. We're looking around to see if we can see the remnants of a, a fire pit. You know, if someone was using this as a camping shelter or to camp, you would think. I don't know, not everybody needs a campfire to camp though. Some of the stuff that was cut looks like it was done just this last season. Yeah, I just don't see where they had their campfire, but I was always a campfire kind of person when I would rough it like this when I was a late teen, early adult. I like to have a campfire. I still like to have a campfire. Even when I have a tent and an air blown mattress, gotta have a campfire. Somebody's been clearing this log for some reason. It's a nice big old straight log. Yeah, maybe someone's gonna come up and Holy cut day. it down and haul it away. Get a horse to drag it, you can do pretty long sections. Maybe somebody needs a rig beam. Well, that's not a campfire. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably a lightning, lightning strike at one time. That Burnt that tree down. Okay. We found rustic backwoods camping. And we're looking for Bigfoot, so we're going to continue to search. But yeah, look how cool this big ridge is right here. And all these cliffs on the other side of this tree, these cliff faces. Yeah, this is a neat place to explore. Very squatchy area, and I wonder why there's been so many sightings around here, including a really nice video of the creature. Oh, it smells so good here today. <laughs> that rock is cool. I like the smell of the woods and the outdoors. Yeah. Looks like a great place for a mountain lion to nap and wait for lunch to walk up. I know. That's what I was thinking. Look at that. It's like a, a little totem up there. Wow. It's like a pinnacle. Uh-huh. Looks like it has a face on it. Look how dark it is below. Like someone has had a fire, fire there at one point in time. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Caveman wannabe. <laughs> I don't know. Does Bigfoot use fire? I've never I don't really know. heard any reports of people seeing Bigfoot making a fire, but there's a Colorado report where a guy woke up and a Bigfoot was stirring his campfire with a stick. Maybe he was getting fire. <laughs> or he's like, what's this? <laughs> this would make my deer taste so much better. Oh, <laughs> well, bones. Traces of bones. Oh yeah, that looks like vertebrae. And right here. Let's see. Is that really bone? It looks a lot like church or... No, it's falling apart real easy, huh? Something comes up and down right here. Yeah, this is a well-used animal trail. Going up to this pinnacle and cliffs. Probably this is neat. I bet you it's a mountain lion. Look at right. 
He goes right up under that tree right there. Where the squirrel just ran. <laughs> hey, Zippy. Yeah, he didn't want a selfie. I don't know if the viewers are going to see him on camera. He had a real great color to him. Like big time digging. Just digging. Oh, I see a dig spot right there too. Oh, something was right on the other side of that. This storm's coming in. I know you want to explore these cliffs. Oh, you can hear it. Yeah, that storm's rolling in. We need to get out of here. We're going to spend a week here exploring. And now that we found this pinnacle on these cliffs, we really want to explore this area for caves. Oh, shoot. Here it comes. Yeah, let's get off the mountain and the shelter. <laughs> it's quick. Yeah, these mountain storms rolling quick. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed a look at a Bigfoot sighting hot spot. Make sure you watch to the end. We'll show you it's on that camera. A rib bone. We're coming back here. Yeah. Could have been Bigfoot having a lunch, but it was more than likely a mountain lion. <laughs> cool thing about a mountain lion is, though, it eats the guts and buries the carcass. So if you're, if you're on to them, you can go steal the carcass from them. All right, keep on watching, folks. Oh, we found 